Hello, Morlibus here. And I noticed my audio was a little low in the last episode, so I boosted up my mic, which will hopefully help. So let me know if you can hear me any better, or if it's now too loud, or too much feedback. But yeah, so, got the bottom area all cleaned up for the sugarcane farm. I've got a few clips to show you of me just doing that. There's a little bit of audio in it, but not much. So I'll probably just fast forward through them. And yeah, enjoy, and I'll join you once those are done. Well, I punched a hole in the ceiling. I don't know if that helps see... Well, it helps me see a little bit. And I can see, if I'm standing here, bedrock fog. Isn't affecting me. Still pretty dark in here. It looks like some TNT managed to get through. I'm not sure if there was already some holes that the TNT landed into. So I don't think it should have been able to blow blow up the wall. Yeah, maybe I'll punch some more holes. It's also nighttime. It'll be brighter in the day. Alright, just removing the water. Actually only one source block remaining. So I thought we could watch it go down together. You can see. Maybe I'll brighten it up as much as I can. And this is probably gonna lag. <laughs> Get it in there. There she goes. Yeah, I think the frames are holding. I know. Why don't I go here? Yeah, that's pretty dark too. Watch the curtain fall. Seem to be falling. Oh, there we go. It's just not updating. Not rendering properly. Got some floating water up there. Which I'm pretty sure isn't there. There we go. Yeah, so I was thinking about keeping the water, but I could always put it back. People really want it. It'd look cool. I just gotta tear down this wall. <laughs> just, right? Cool. Alright.
All right, so we got her all cleaned up. Uh, punch some more holes in the ceiling. But you can tell where it's still dark. A little tricky punching holes because there's a lot of buildings up there. So I kind of had to work them in wherever I could. But that should suffice, hopefully. And then I've started this, which is kind of what I was thinking, is a little bridge or catwalk. So this will walk out this way. And we're going to have the machines on the left and on the right. But we'll be able to walk down the middle. And I think there'll be another catwalk like this down where that redstone is at that level. And we'll be able to walk down there, and that'll be at the bottom of the machine. So here we'll be able to see just the tops. Maybe one level of sugar cane. All right. Um, well, I went through kind of all my good picks. So I am going to head to the Ender Farm and, in, and do a bit of enchanting. So maybe I'll bring you guys in over there, and you can see what I get. All right. Well, I can show you guys the under farm. Oh, I left the door open. Just wanted to put this away. All right. To the end. Ooh. I was like, where am I? There's my stronghold. Clearly I have done nothing to it. <laughs> Pretty much. I blocked in the... Oh no, I think I ended up destroying it. I originally blocked in the silverfish spawner. And then decided it was just too much of a pain, so I destroyed it. I don't think I'll do anything with it. But if I want to, there's a couple other strongholds I can go to to do it. Alright, so here's my end. Oops, I think I might have looked at him. <laughs> I built this rail. And there it goes down there. And then I doused it in water to keep the endermen from running on top of it after me. If I do happen to look at them. Away we go. And I tried to make this kind of scenic. I kind of cut through and then double backed, but in the end I've got this all covered up so you can't really look back and see the place, so it kind of wasn't even worth it. <laughs> A lot of work for nothing. I thought of maybe replacing that with glass, but meh. It's done. It doesn't look too bad. So this is the, I, think, I believe it was JL2579 design, and I watched Doc M's tutorial on it. Let's just put that all the way down. The only thing I've modified is this bottom part, obviously, just to, aesthetically. And I, I made it so they're a bit higher up, so that you can just hit their feet. There's no way they can actually hit you when this thing is up. I'm actually almost at 30, so maybe I'll just keep you here for the first, the first level. And we'll enchant our first pick. So it looks like, um, if you're following the snapshots, that they're nerfing the XP you gain from spawners. So if you have a spawner based XP farm, like a zombie spawner or skeletal spawner or cave spider spawners, they've nerfed it. So I did a test with my skeletal, eh, skeletal spawner and I let 170 collect which typically would get you to level 30 and it got me to level eight and a half, which is kind of crazy. So they're really trying to discourage grinding. Yeah, that's okay. However, with the Ender Farm, because these guys are natural spawns, it did not affect this guy. Now I'm not playing in the snapshot right now, 
I am thinking that I probably will start playing in the snapshots again. As I did start this world in the snapshots. So as soon as I see those snapshots are pretty stable, which there are still some crashing, but I think they may have just fixed it with the 12W34B. They said they fixed some crashing with the new those new item signs. I don't remember what they're called. But those little item holders that you can put to display your blocks. So as soon as it is stable, I'm going to switch this world over to that. And we'll start playing in the new snapshot as well. Yeah, see, this is just as fast as ever. So with the new XP's spawners being nerfed, I guess the only real effective way is going to be the end of burn. Unless they somehow nerf this too. I'm not sure how they could. Unless they just, if you kill something really quick after you've already killed something, it doesn't give you as much XP or something. Oops. Not paying attention. 32. Eh, it's okay, I guess, for the working pick. I brought these uh, broken picks with me just in case I get a, a crap enchantment. Like if I get just Unbreaking 3 on there, or, or just Fortune 3, I'll just remove the enchant by repairing it. But, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to keep going here, enchant the rest of these four, and I'll bring you back and show you what I get. And I overshot again, level 32. We'll cycle it a few times. Yeah, I don't like that. It's okay, I guess, but without efficiency. Dragon. Alright, let's try again. Another efficiency 4. Well, very good working picks. Typically like to bring a silk touch with me when I mine. And then uh, efficiency one of these guys, efficiency four and breaking three, fortune three. So those two guys I like to bring. And I prefer that to have unbreaking obviously, but that's okay. Alright, three more to go. Alright, another pick. Hey, there we go. It's a good mining pick. Two more. Let's throw some of these in there. So, when I was building this thing, originally I used glowstone. Let's see it up there, I kind of moved it. There's an issue with like transparent blocks. If you use transparent blocks on the pistons. So typically use like glowstone because they can't actually spawn on glowstone. I don't know if it's just in this new update, like all these orbs that are floating around my head. Now if I stop, these all get like sucked into me. However, when I was using transparent blocks like the glowstone, I even tried like stairs and stuff like that. You'd get those orbs just constantly floating around your head, but if you stop moving, they wouldn't actually get like sucked into you. And they were actually on the other side of this wall, like those guys. Those guys would actually be kind of falsely circling your head, but you couldn't pick them up. So until you went back here to collect them, those orbs would just like blind you. So that's why I ended up just putting stone here. And then I just put a row of glowstone so they can't naturally spawn. They can still theoretically, I think, teleport down here. But I don't think that happens. I haven't seen that happen in quite a while. That's only if they manage to, I think, teleport like as soon as they spawn. Because otherwise they fall immediately. And I do want to go up there and check. So I did notice before that there were some pistons glitching out. 
or had that had glitched out. So I think a lot of the spots have been kind of broken. Where the piston fired really quickly and it pushed the block, but it didn't pull the block back. Oop. Overzealous again. Ah, that's okay. That was actually good. And one more. Well, that wasn't actually too bad. We didn't get too many bad picks. I'm just going to put these in here. And I can use them next time. So maybe when I'm done here, we'll go take the service service exit, <laughs> which I think is open. There we go. Not dangerous. I could just strafe right out the door. Yeah, I'll go up and see if any of them are broken. I don't know if I'll try to repair it because it is dangerous to go up there. If you do aggro an Enderman, it's, there's a good chance he will knock you off this thing. Into the void you go! If you can fall down the middle, you're usually okay. There's that. It's got a safe drop. It's got vines at, I think, 43 or something like that above this. So if you hold shift, you can actually just stop yourself in midair. So if you're falling and you just hold shift, you'll stop at those vines. And then you can safely get out of there. So that saved me a few times. So I was kind of building this, and these guys are spawning at the same time, so as you're building, you got to deal with them. And then if you ever have to go down, oops, I'm really not paying attention to the levels. Run away from those. Yeah, if you ever have to go down for like more material, no, that's okay. It's only got one silk touch, but good enough for now. Let's throw those up there. Take the rest. Okay, let's go risk my life and all the items I'm carrying. And, uh, there we go. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> or I could die. Try this again. I would prefer not to die. Living is good, and dying, not as good. Well, I just looked at one. This is going to end poorly. As you can see, my service exit is not all that safe. It's okay. There's not many spots for him to spawn, so I don't think he could teleport without getting knocked off again, hopefully. So, if you've never seen one of these, here you'll get to... Oh, did I... I think I did. It used to be ladders. It's very hard to get in this thing. Oh, no, there's some ladders. Maybe I'll try this one. Uh, yeah, so right there you can see one. It's glitched out. There's not that many, though. I don't see any below me. Yeah. Below me. Oh, no, there is one. And another. And another. So, yeah, there's a few busted spots. I'm not sure why that happened. It doesn't seem to be happening that often, or a lot more of these would be busted. Let's see if I can get back without falling. Whew! <laughs> Stressful. So, I don't think I'll fix them now. I do, I'll go very light. Yeah, there's there's a bunch though. Hmm. Oh well. Doesn't seem to be slowing it down that much. So we will leave them. But yeah, there you see the setup. Whoop. I can move over a bit without dropping off the ladder. So just pressure plates, alternating repeating repeater and redstone, just so they don't interfere with each other. Sends power into those blocks at the bottom. Right above those blocks are sticky pistons with another block on them that just 
push the Endermen out every time they spawn. So the only spawnable places are the pressure plates. So they spawn and fall. Pretty neat design. And then the bottom row, you got some vines here to reset their fall damage. So this is set so that they are one hit punch when they get to the bottom. This one right there. Ooh, I could almost fix it. Hmm. I think if I could. Oh, yeah, see, he's trapped. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> this isn't going to end well. Maybe I could just make him go away. Oh, there we go. Hey, that worked pretty good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was not cool. Whew. Thank God I put those inner pearls on my bar. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's just go away. Bye bye. Got a lot of good stuff on me. Okay, let's head back and we'll start construction on the sugarcane factory. All right, guys. Back to me on the farm, and I've also brought down some materials so we can start this project. Uh, let's get it all set up. So I'm gonna try building on camera here. See how it goes. There may be lulls in conversation. We'll see, but hopefully I can. Keep up the conversation while doing this. Just let me know. If it doesn't work out, I can not do it ever again. <laughs> or hopefully I'll just get better. Okay. So. First things first, got to lay this stuff out. I don't want it to be too close to the mob farm. So maybe the edge of the building should be about here. Maybe a bit further. Uh, now yeah, somewhere around here. Now, let's think here. If we can find the center, let's get some dirt. Maybe some glass. Okay. So we're gonna make that pumpkin. Let's say. Or. Er, hmm. Six. Maybe this. Yeah, okay, the pumpkin. <laughs> right back where I started. Okay, this is going to be the edge of the machine, let's say. Then I need space for the redstone, piston, sugarcane, and then the center. Let's make that center the glass. Maybe I'll build this walkway out further as well. So I'm going to try to build it from the bottom up, but I want to first determine because I want the I want one level to be kind of here. So I got to figure out where that is, and then kind of work my way backwards to figure out where to start the thing at the bottom, and how many layers we can fit in. Let's make some stairs. Probably need a lot of them. Uh, let's get that for now. Okay. And then I also want to... Keep it. I don't want it flush up against this walkway either. I want it to be a gap between this edge and the start of the machine. So actually, these machines are going to be. I think I worked it out. So they're going to be kind of indented into the wall. Which unfortunately means I got to remove some more blocks as I build. But I'm just going to hollow out the areas I need. So these guys are going to be right up against the wall with part of the machine actually behind the wall. 
I think, if I remember correctly. Okay, so, one, two, three, four. This machine is nine wide. Just double check again. So we got the water drop is going to be in the center. The actual dirt with the sugar cane will be here. We got piston here. And then we need a block beside the piston for the wiring to go on top of. And then the dividing wall. And then it repeats. And we have to figure out if we want the dirt to be this height. The sugar cane, sugar cane. Or if we should actually just have the dirt at this height. So the pistons would be at eye level to shear it. Hmm. Let me think about it and I'll bring you right back. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it like that, the sugar cane. And I want the machine to start there. There'll be a three air gap. This block will represent the front of the machine, the structure of it. And this is where the sugar cane will actually begin. So we need... It's 12. I know the machine is 18, so... Get some torches. Do I have any torches? I don't have any torches! Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, got some torches. Bye-bye. Not lit. There we go. Okay. So, where were we? Okay, so air gap, start of the machine. And let's see here. Two, three, four. Thirteen. So we'll need to go into the wall. So if this is the front. We need 12 spots for the sugar cane. One, which I think is right to the wall. That is indeed 12. Okay. Which means we can do that. So we get this first level roughly built, and then we're going to go down and see what level we can start on. So there we go. Pistons, yeah. Okay. So let's bring up the coordinates, and we're looking at where are we standing? Y39. Okay, so each level is six tall. So we just have to go down in multiples of six to figure out where we need to start. Oh, yeah, I've got some records. Where? Let's get a chest. Downfall is. All this stuff is up here, and we're about to go down there. <laughs> I didn't think this through. Which one did we just listen to? There we go. But anyway, we can get height going. So 39. And 6. I probably want it roughly. I said I was going to have a catwalk here. So that might be the height we go at. It's kind of below the catwalk. Or slightly below it anyway. Maybe I'll just build that out of dirt right now. 
I'm gonna let the judge. And hopefully get on it. Hopefully hit the glass. Nope. Well. Bad throw. Hmm. Okay. So, center, right here. We are at 11. So what do we want to be at? We are at 39. Fifteen would be one, that's too high, so go down again would be nine. So two below would be the base. That would work. Remember that. I don't want to build this whole thing out of dirt though. <laughs> okay. I think it's kinda of when I wish I had Optifine or something. I think I'm right below it. I should have looked at that coordinate. That would be... 4... Yeah. So we were standing at 9. So it's like that, which means that's sugar cane. Well, let's see. You know that this should be exactly 12 to the wall. Help if I was counting. Okay, one, two, three, four. Good. Okay. So this is actually dirt. It's supposed to be dirt. Like so. It's a torch. Torch. Not needed. And I think what I'm going to do is create a base. So this is the bottom. So I'm just going to put a solid base underneath. And I'll cut it back when this is done. Okay, so here we go. Kind of laid out three. Be three right next to each other. It's a little different than the way I was talking about it in the previous episode when we were in my creative world. I was going to put them end to end, but this way you'll actually be able to see the front of them and you'll be able to see the sugar cane inside when you're walking along the catwalks. So, Assuming this is the right height, which I hope it is. <laughs> but we will find out. I'm going to kind of... Might, I think I'm going to lay these out, the dirt at least, right away. And just get them jetting out so we have an idea. And to make sure everything works out the way it should. So I should just be able to go up every six and jet out. Theoretically. Okay, so the height looks good. Everything's worked out. I think I'll just do the other lines of dirt here. And then we'll get started building. And I think I'll build one here on camera. And then I'll build the other ones probably off camera. So it'll just be repetition. So the other thing I want to add, which is different than 
what I showed on my tradable sorry, is an off switch. So I want to be able to shut this thing down if need be, so that place doesn't get just overloaded. Now I haven't been down there in a long time. I think last time was on video. So the next time I go down there, I'm going to do that on camera. And we'll see what's there. Should be a lot of drops. There should also be a lot of just stone. When I was digging this thing out, the bottom part, and doing the strip mines, every time I was overburdened, I just kind of went up to the stream and I chucked a bunch of the blocks into there. So it may contain a lot of stuff. So it should be interesting to see what we have over there when I get there. Okay. And yeah, hopefully I don't I don't think I need to cut too much into the wall. It's mainly just some of the piston and wiring stuff, so it should be pretty good, I think. Alright, so next step, we're gonna make trough for the water. And probably just use hmm, I guess just stone. So that's where the water will be for both sides. And I might just use stone for the wiring too. Normally I just use cobble. Maybe I should get some cobble. Cheap resource, but the big pistons? I got some. Hmm. Eh, let's just use stone. I got lots of stone. Okay, I'm just going to put this as a placeholder for the water. This will be a different block at the end. And it should go quick once I kind of figure it out. And then this is pistons. Actually, we go one, two, no, no, let's go from here. So, I put ice right there. I shouldn't even need this guy. Yeah, I'll just stay. So let's do that. Oh. So that'll be enough to allow you to plant sugar cane. Did I bring? I did. So now, oops, so if I put it down, and actually, I gotta make a modification here. I wanna put in some lighting. And do I even bring them? Nope. It's okay, I'll have it in later. So there's gonna be a redstone lamp right here at this in front of this repeater. So that every time these fire, it'll blink. So just a little cosmetic thing. And when it powers that redstone lamp, it's also gonna power this little dot underneath which will fire this piston. The only downside of this is this piston's going to be delayed a bit. So these will fire and then that guy fires, but it's fairly quick. So I don't... Whoa! What did I... Oh, I hit the dirt, I think. So yeah, same on this side. So modify that. That. Good. Now, 
We need more pistons. Hmm. Might be able to make it up there. Oh, I think so. Whew. Okay. More pistons. What else should we bring down there? Could bring those. Probably more stone. Some more balls. It's regular stone. There we go. Can we need some torches? Probably don't need the wood right now. Probably better off bringing some more redstone. Could plant the sugar cane as we go. And yeah, start with that. Okay. So get those ready. Mm. Something to press it up against. There we go. So this is going to be the inline butter ray, courtesy of MC last username. Punch in here. There we go. And we can lay some blocks on top. Oops. That's for the wiring. There we go. And I'll do this part now or after. So here I probably don't need to worry about like a furnace or anything. There may be a cave, so maybe I should. Let me go chest here. Let me just throw some stuff in here. Get all that ice, the dirt, the axe. Hmm. Need those. There we go. Kinda want this cobble. <laughs> Make some furnace as well down here. Did not bring any of those for some reason. So do I need to go I'm trying to remember how I did this. Get one more piece, then we can make two furnaces. Okay, and the furnace will go. Lock, air, piston, there. Same thing here. There. Ooh. However, oops, can you put redstone on furnaces? You can. Okay, good. Oops. Lack of soul. I'll use a block. Change that out for the hell of it. All right, next. Okay.
probably even test these guys real quick, make sure I'm doing it right. And I gotta remember how I wired it, because I currently do not. Alright, so yeah, there are some caves. And then I gotta remember. Actually. Now for the shutoff switch. It's gonna be powered by this thing. So I'm actually gonna have vertical wiring running up this this line right here where I'm standing straight up. And we'll get rid of that. And that so I can default this to being on. Okay. So now we need to have it see if I can remember how I did this. <laughs> hmm. That goes there. That's I think what I damn. Hmm. I believe it was something like this. Torch. Block. Yeah. Let me out of the wall. Where am I? Hello. Thanks for trying to kill me. Okay. Um. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> nope, that's the clock. I think I made that last time too. Oh, what did I do? No, that's far last. Hmm. I think it might have been just. That's gonna fire him. Just did that, but let me just see. Did I have that below? Is this still the clock? Nope. Okay, I was missing a piece of redstone, maybe? Why is he pushed? Why are you pushed, guy? You shouldn't be powered. Hmm. Nope. I was hoping I could figure that out. So I had it bigger and then I modified it. How did I modify it? Alright, I gotta go take a look and see what I did. Okay. Yeah, it's this. The only difference is... Oops. Do I have... It's right there. I need half slabs. That's how I did it. And they're purling all over the place. Don't need that guy, or do I? No. No, I don't. Okay. So that was the that was it. So now Is that powered? 
cramped. Oh, I do need that block. There we go. I barely see it. I think that just needs to be on two. No, it needs to be on three. However, I don't need that anymore. Oh no, I do need that. So it's powering a piece of redstone dust on the bottom. There we go. So that's it. Do the same on this side. One, two, three. Torch and a block. There we go. And a half slap. There we go. So now, no. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Get rid of that. And actually, if we. We do the stream now. I can put the reeds in, and this thing can just keep firing while I'm working. So, how should we do this? Need to put ice there. Yeah. That so I need a sign. Oh no, I have it on me. Need some signs. Go break that sign. Oops, I don't know why I got rid of all the water. There we go. Well, that oh, that doesn't even work. So if the sugar cane falls right here, it's not going to go anywhere. So, to do what I was thinking originally, just do that. Ice. Like a soul. There we go. Change that and that. Full blocks. I'm probably going to just keep this going straight across for the other ones. In which case, I'll probably just go out eight blocks so I don't have to put a sign here. So one, two, eight. And let's put a piece of dirt there for now. That should go all the way. Good. As for this one, I do need a sign. And to get it in the right place, let's do that. It's kind of goofy, but and there. No matter where it lands, it should make its way to here. There we go. Put some sugar cane in. Oh, 
The other thing I gotta think about is lighting. I don't know what sugarcane needs to grow. But I should probably find that out. And maybe put some lighting on this row. Some glowstone or something. So, yeah, maybe I'll go look that up. Be right back. Alright, Wiki says that sugarcane has the same properties as cactus. It doesn't say anything specific to sugarcane about lighting, but for cactus it says it grows at any light level. So I'm assuming that sugarcane does as well. So we don't have to light this up. I may still add lighting in afterwards just for cosmetics. But this episode is running really long. I just checked the editing and all the videos. And yeah, we're almost at an hour, pretty close to maybe even slightly over. So I'm going to end this here and we will pick it up on the next episode. So please leave me some feedback if you enjoy this style of video. I'm going to try not to make it this long, typically. This one, yeah, ran longer than I wanted it to. And I probably could have cut some of the stuff out, but I decided to try something different and keep a bit of the filler stuff in this time. So yeah, let me know what you like, what you don't like, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Squish.